Hey, Kinsey Rising here, owner of Take the Lead Dog Training, and I'm just gonna do a quick demo on your micro educator. Um, we provide these with a lot of our training programs, and I just wanna make sure that you guys are comfortable with the functionality of it as we um, start to integrate it into your training process. So this is the remote or um, the transmitter. This is the caller or the receiver. To turn these on, you will see on the side here, there's a red dot. On the side of your remote, there's also a red dot. Those are magnets. So we wanna to touch those together for about one second and you'll see this light turns on green. It's gonna blink green every few seconds just to let you know that it's on and charged. Um, to turn it off, I would do the same thing. Touch the red dots together like so and it goes red as it's turning off. Now this piece is also turned off. So turning it back on, just gonna to touch those together. Um, this piece is now on, this piece is still currently off. So you'll hear my dogs barking in the background. Um, on the back, you will see the light and on and off button. Hopefully that's in, uh, it's focusing on the right spot there. Um, push and hold that big button on the back for about two seconds and you will see your LCD screen light up. This is now on. Now that this is on, um, I'm gonna show you a few of the features. So on top here is your dial. This changes your stim level. It has from zero to 100 levels. Um, and so when you get all the way up to 100, it says high. Um, so that is your range of levels. You're also gonna see the letter M and the letter C. That stands for momentary stim or continuous stim. And then up top here, the number one with the letter D is blinking at you that stands for the one dog system when it's blinking that means your levels are unlocked so when you adjust your dial the number will change you can lock your level in which is a really nice feature simply by pushing down the top of your dial for two seconds it is now locked in so 1d is no longer blinking it is solid if i turn my dial the level stays the same which is great for if you want to put put this in your pocket and not have to worry about the dial being adjusted because it is quite sensitive. When you go to unlock it, it's the same way, push and hold for two seconds. It's going to go wherever the dial has been turned to, so which could be quite a big difference. Okay, so now about the other buttons and features. We have a red button and a black button here on this side, and then additionally a black button here with the, no the letter T engraved in it. The other ones have the letter S engraved in it. Um, S is for stim. So in our training programs, we primarily use these two buttons and not this one. This one is currently programmed to be the vibration mode, which vibrates the collar. You cannot adjust the intensity level of the vibration. So we don't like to use that because it's oftentimes too intense for most dogs. So we just ignore that button and we primarily use these two. So if you watch the light here um, as it's turned on, and I'm not pushing any buttons, it does that green blink every few seconds to let you know that it's on and charged. If I'm not pushing any buttons and that is blinking orange or red, that is your indicator that the battery is dying and it's time to plug it in and recharge. Your plug-in port is right there on your collar. Also your serial number down there for registration of warranty. On the back of your remote, there's a flap here. This is where you plug this piece in to charge as well. Um, this light down here is also blinking green. That's to let you know it's charged. So if that's blinking orange or red without you pushing any buttons, again, it's time to charge your e-collar. When I do activate the button though, let's say I, I push and hold the continuous setting, you're gonna see it light up red. That's to let you know this is saying I'm sending the signal. This is saying I'm receiving the signal successfully. With your continuous button, if you push and hold that button down, it will send that signal as long as you're holding the button until about 10 to 12 seconds, you see it just turned off. So it does have that automatic cut off. If you were to need your continuous stim for longer than that 10 seconds, you would simply reapply your button right away. So that is your continuous setting, your continuous stim, which is the red button. The one, the black button just above that is your momentary. If I push, and even if I push and hold, it just sends a stim for a moment, hence momentary stimulation. Um, so that's an important thing to note. Now, um, one thing to know too is if you push both of these buttons, it is what's called boost. It will add five levels of intensity to um, what you're currently programmed at, whether you're locked or unlocked. 
So if I push momentary followed by continuous, it's going to boost momentary mode. If I push continuous followed by momentary, it's going to boost on continuous mode. So that's something that's very important to know. You can, using your user manual, um, go in and change the boost mode to be fewer or more um, levels. So if you want it to be plus 10, plus 30, you can do that if you need to. Um, going back to the back of your remote. So you, we talked about your on and off button as well as being your light button. So I pushed and held it for two seconds to turn it on. That's also how you turn it off. But if I tap it, instead of just pushing and holding, I now have the light button on. So one tap turns it on blinking, second tap turns it on solid, third tap turns it off. So that's just a flashlight, something that's a really nice feature for when it's dark outside and you're walking your dog or you want to see them in your yard when they're running around and it's dark. Um, another thing that's really important to know about this e collar there's another little button right here on the side that has um, the M and C letters engraved on it. This is to reprogram um, your remote. So if I push and hold that button on the back for about two seconds, you hear that beep. The C disappeared, we now only have M. So what that just did was it turned both of these buttons into our momentary mode, only the red is now plus five or your boost. So they both only send that stim for that moment, but it's this is a boost now. So if I push and hold that button again, you will see now M disappeared. We only have C for continuous. So both of these are now continuous. If I push and hold, it sends the continuous stimulation and the red one is the boost mode. So um, we typically train with it in the original setting where you see both the M and the C on the screen. I bring this up because it's important to know if you accidentally um, reprogram it and you're using your red button as continuous and you don't realize that it has turned to plus five, um, it might be too much for your dog uh, stimulation wise. So just being aware of that. So those are the basic features, where to charge it, how to turn on your collar, your light and your on and off button and your reprogramming button, your momentary, your continuous and your vibration mode, your dial to change levels and also how you lock and unlock. Um, and then this is where you turn it on. Checking battery levels is just watching your lights to make sure they're blinking green. It should charge in um, two hours or less from a fully dead battery. I typically find that um, the collar piece dies a little bit faster than the remote piece, um, but it doesn't hurt them to charge every day. A couple other things, these are your contact points. This is where the stem comes out um, and makes contact with your dog's skin. This is how they feel that stimulation. Some dogs have an allergic reaction to the metal that's at the end of these tips. So if that is the case, you might see some redness, some irritation or a rash develop. Um, they do have hypoallergenic contact points that you can get to resolve that issue. Um, the other thing about that too is because this collar does have to fit nice and snug on your dog's neck to ensure consistent connection. Um, the only other thing that we see that can happen is a pressure sore. So just the fact that it's sitting on your dog's neck with some pressure on it can cause a sore to develop if they are wearing it for too long. Too long is typically eight to 12 hours in a row on a regular basis, unless your dog has very, very sensitive skin. Some dogs that tend to have sensitive skin types would be pit bulls, boxers, rottweilers. Um, so every dog is capable of getting a pressure sore if they wear it too long. Some dogs are more prone to it than others. So we do recommend you rotate which side of the neck that you put the collar on. Um, on a regular basis so that they don't develop the pressure sore. Just keep an eye on it. Um, if a sore develops, just keep it clean. Take a break from your e-collar training until they heal up and um, that should be it. So your charger unit right here just plugs into your wall and it has a splitter so you can charge both pieces at the same time. And then it comes with a lanyard in your kit as well as a couple extra pieces here. Um, this is like a screwdriver to take your contact points on and off to swap them out if you need to. This round piece um, is built to pop off the purple shell if you need to get to the inside or just change the shell to another color, which you can order on their website, ecolor.com. And then this clear piece is a tester if you put the contact points underneath. There's a little light bulb in the middle. If you were to push and activate the stem, the light bulb would light up to let you know that it is actually working. Um, you can also just put it on yourself and feel. 
um, but it's normal not to feel the first several levels. I don't think I can feel anything to like a 12 or a 13 because um, this is a pretty soft unit. Um, and then some slightly longer contact points in case your dog has longer fur like a German Shepherd. Um, this might help uh, reach the skin instead of the shorter contact points. So that's the basic info about how this unit functions. Um, and we will be coaching you in your lessons on how to actually apply it to training. Um, but we wanted to make sure that you were familiar with all of the features and functions before we get started so that um, you're not overwhelmed with too much information. So feel free to watch this video as many times as you need or reference your user manual. Um, and again, ecollar.com is their website if you need any replacement parts or um, want to register for the warranty. We highly encourage that. Good luck in training and we will see you soon.